ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. The situation with Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson. So if you guys remember, I did a stream a few weeks ago about the whole Kiki Palmer, Derek Jackson, situ not Derek Jackson, Darius um, situation. And um, basically, she came out with like video evidence. It was like a still shot of him abusing her. The mama was going off on social media. It was a hot mess. Um, and then Darius had released audio that Armand got a hold of. And in that audio, um, you can hear Kiki Palmer and her mom basically going at him. So this whole situation is crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and play some of the audio for you guys here, kind of like a flashback, and then I'll go on into what's going on with them now. Okay, and I kind of have a time stamped here of them from like the podcast and just random clips. So it's very weird to see her mom online, you know, doing all of this um, and so we're just gonna watch this clip and I'm gonna come back and talk. Okay, so we're just gonna watch this here. Man, you're dating, you gotta be very careful who you introduce to your kids. Right, it's so true. That's why when I get my new man, I'm gonna be careful, Darius, I promise. I'm not gonna have to. <laughs> you mean snap, the man version. <laughs> I want to talk about another relationship. Oh, young guy. Hey, this young man. Oh, hey, no, come on, no. He's my type. Hey, come on, come on. Like, I'm I'm just, with yeah, you said nasty things to me. I didn't need to say them back. That's my I'm bad. I'm with it. It's my bad to say nasty things to you. Even if you did say nasty things to me. It's my I'm bad I'm to put my hands on you. Even though you did whatever that you did that made me feel that way. Like, I'm going to take responsibility. Not Armand Wiggins. Okay, so y'all hear Armand coming in like every five seconds. I'm awesome. Armand Wiggins. <clears throat> okay, so now it was reported yesterday, and a lot of people are like really upset about this. So give me just a second to pull this up. So this is what's going viral right now is that basically um, Kiki Palmer requests to move restraining order hearing with ex Darius Jackson. So the pair can resolve custody issues privately after explosive abuse claims, right? So the article is saying Kiki Palmer has asked to move her restraining order. Um, according to court documents filed on Thursday in Los Angeles, Palmer 30 and Jackson 29 um, began discussions the, pri the day prior and have agreed to continue at a mutual agreeable date that has not been determined. The pair were due to meet in court over the domestic violence restraining order on December 5th, but now want to postpone until they have resolved their issue in mediation per page six. The court documents state that the parties agree that all orders contained in the temporary restraining order issued on November 9th, 2023 shall remain in full force and effective until the hearing with a new court date yet to be determined. So a lot of people were dragging Kiki on uh, social media. They felt like, you know, she's playing games. We had your back, you know, how dare you, you know, try to cancel the case? Um, how dare you not move forward? I don't know if people just don't like to read or are reading other things, but the court, it's not canceled. I mean, she's still moving forward with it. So I went to go do a bit more research um, because from what people were saying is that she's basically changed her mind. She wants to work things out with Darius. I didn't get that. I don't know how people got that, but I didn't get that. Um, it sounds like they had to move it. And so I, I'm going to show you guys some of these, uh, screenshots here. Okay. I'm going to share with you some stuff on my desktop. So... So in the article it says, per the court documents we obtained, 
The parties agree that all orders contained in the temporary restraining order issued on November 9, 2023 shall remain in full force effect until the hearing. The court has yet to set a new date, meaning she did not cancel anything on her baby daddy. They're still going to go to court. They're just trying to find a different date. Also, let's go ahead and pull this up. So in this article, they're saying we're told that criminal we're told a criminal investigation by the police is ongoing. So again, people saying that she dropped charges. That's not what's being told here. Um, the reason the restraining order court date was moved from December 5th is because Jackson's lawyer was not available. The calendar date will be moved to January. Sources conclude that Kiki is concerned about her privacy, Leo's privacy and the privacy of her family. So her, preference, so her preference is to resolve the situation privately rather than open court if possible. But if not possible, the hearing remains on the calendar and Kiki will stop at nothing to ensure the safety and health and a healthy outcome for herself and Leo. Okay? And then we also have this court document. So let me share this really quick here okay so request to continue and reissue the tr the tro on january 18th stipulation in order january 4th so meaning and this is the case number the names involved i found out later that lauren is kiki i never knew that was her first name so they're still going to court. So I think that, you know, people attacking her and saying, you know, she's an idiot. She's going back to him. That's not the case. So I think, you know, people have to be like really smart before just posting anything and really dig in. So they didn't cancel anything. Um, basically, they're still going to court. Um, she would rather have it private, of course. Anybody would want something like that private. You don't want it open for the public. You don't want YouTubers showing up, you know what I'm saying, live streaming in front of the courthouse uh, during this custody case. So she's still going to court. The charges are still remaining. The police are still investigating. So I wanted to, you know, clear that up because I saw like a lot of comments and I'm like, I think people missed what the article said. So yeah, everything is still a go. But um, like I said, I just think the whole situation is sad that it's even gotten to this point. But we'll have to see what happens. You know, he has his receipts. He's claiming that, you know, he was abused too and she put hands on him too. So like I told y'all before in my last live stream, I'm going to let the courts do their job. I'm not judge, jury, or executioner. I'm going to let this play out in a court of law and keep sipping and minding my business. Okay. So, but I did want to update that because I saw a lot of people just like really going in on her when that's not the case. They're still going to court. They're still going to fight it out. She just does she just wants it done privately, but nothing has been canceled. So just understand that. So some people can be, you know, team Darius and you have the right to be team Darius. Other people can be team Kiki, but again, I'm team nobody after the whole Tori and Meg situation. I just I don't care. I don't care to be team any of these celebrities. Think they're all batshit crazy behind the scenes. I will let the courts do what they got to do, find the evidence that they need to find, and I'm going to just sit back and mind my business, okay? And I'll do an update, but I, I'm, I'm team nobody. I'm team neutral. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.